Julian Fader, the Gastro Nerd, and it is the height of summer, which means it's the height of all my favorite vegetables, including this one, zucchini. Zucchini, it literally means little zucca in Italian means squash. Zucchini means little, zucchini little squash. How cute is that? And we use the Italian word for it. How about that? I have all this great zucchini and I thought to myself, I've been eating it sautéed for a long time. And now that it's bigger, bigger ones are not as sweet, huh? <laughs> Size does matter. Why not make a soup? I can have a great snack on the go, zucchini soup, chilled or hot, perfect for the summer, and also perfect for the slimma belly. So, for my zucchini soup, I'm going to start off with a base of some spring onions, very delicious, delicate some garlic scapes, which are just the little buds of garlic, some fresh garlic as well, and of course my beloved schlots for sweetness too. We'll top it off with some fresh, it's like a drug, basil, and of course if you like other herbs such as oregano and thyme, you can do that too, I'm just hooked on basil. And then to finish, we're gonna shave a little Parmesan because, let's face it, everything is better with Parmesan cheese. So let's get started. I have washed my zucchini, so it's all ready to go. But first things first, I'm gonna get my spring onions nice and delicately sweated before I add my zucchini. I'm keeping this in neutral color, so I don't need a very high heat throughout. I just wanna make sure my zucchini is nice and tender. An important ingredient for all soups is your broth. You can always use water, but for more flavor, I recommend a vegetable broth or chicken stock. Now, Obviously, homemade chicken stock or vegetable broth, you name it, is much better. I usually like to keep some in my freezer. I don't have any today, so I always keep a backup one of these. Um, they come in these boxes. I prefer they're organic, low sodium. For chicken stock, I like chicken stock. I like the flavor. It adds like a nice meatier component without really being too meaty. But just beware. Go buy, don't buy chicken bouillon. It's loaded with often MSG and fake flavors. Buy real chicken stock. This is good stuff. And if you go to a nice supermarket, sometimes they have fresh chicken stock you can buy too. That's even better. And of course, if you can make it homemade, that's the best. And I'll show you how another time. So let's get cutting. Scallions and garlic, spring onions, shallots, pretty much everything I had in my fridge is all cut up. And I have a nice big pot. It's a, uh, you can use a sauce, like a soup pot. This is kind of my pot that was deepest with my widest surface area. It's very flexible. So I'm gonna give a nice big drizzle. Olive oil, keep it in olive oil because it's like summer vegetables, so light. And then just a little stir around. Now the tops of my spring onions I've reserved separately and I'm going to put them in when, those, when the zucchini's in there and it's already pretty tender because these are going to cook up in no time. I'm going to cut up my zucchini because this is all going to get blended up and pureed. It's not so important how it looks, but it's more important the cut that it's the same size so it's going to cook all evenly. My zucchini are all cut. This is about the equivalent, by the way, of five medium zucchinis. Small zucchini, medium zucchini, and then bigger is bigger. Remember, you can always add a little more olive oil if they're sticking or starting to brown. We don't really want them to brown because that's gonna have a different flavor. Um, it's gonna be a, a little bit more bitter and we don't want that in our soup. Into the pot. Opa! Now that's a lot of zucchini. Add a little salt. I'm gonna let that cook still on this medium to low heat. It's gonna be maybe about another 10, 15 minutes. And I'm gonna adjust for seasoning. And when it just starts to get soft, I'm gonna add my spring onions, let it cook for another two to three minutes, and then I'm gonna add my chicken stock. So my zucchini has cooked for over 10 minutes. I just added my scallions. And they're cooked nicely too. Takes just a couple minutes. So I'm gonna add my chicken stock, really covering the vegetables. And like I said, this is good. A little bit's gonna cook off. So I want a nice, thin, delicate soup. I'm gonna let that come up to a simmer. So just light bubbles, and then I'm gonna let that cook for about another 10 minutes. So my soup, 
the simmering for a little over 10 minutes and always just taste test your zucchini. Sweet, just the right amount of salt and of course very tender, no bite. You don't want your zucchini to bite back. So what we're going to do is we're slowly, and of course if there needs more salt you can always add more salt and we can also adjust chicken stock if it's going to get too thick too. So I have my blender here because I'm doing a blended soup. Now this is a lovely soup as is. Um, if I were in, ooh, that's a little steam facial. If this were intended to be not blended, I would have cut the zucchini a little bit smaller so it would be nice, delicate, little dainty bite-sized pieces. My culinary school instructor always said, when you're making a dish, imagine that a dainty woman is eating it. So you always have to make sure that the lettuce is cut just so and the vegetables small so nothing comes out of her mouth. I'm gonna blend this so it doesn't matter. So take in a nice ladle. So it's great to have a ladle. Going to pour this right into here. So any blender will do. Make sure to get a balance of liquid and zucchini. That's a good amount. You don't want to fill it up too high because then it's gonna uh, overwork the blender. It's like magic, it's like a volcano. So I'm going to taste test this for consistency and flavor. Mm. Oh, it's so delicate and light. I'm going to actually add a little bit of fresh basil right into here. I'm going to put some on top, but I told you I love basil. There are lots of cool variations you can do on this soup too. You can add curry in here, curried zucchini soup, very popular. Oh, that basil just makes it so happy. All right, so I'm going to pour this finished pureed soup into a separate bowl. And then I'm just gonna finish blending the rest of this. Oh my my, I made a lot of soup. Oh boy, I'm gonna get to freeze some of this, have it later, have a lot this week, maybe drop some off at some friends. That's why I'm such a good friend. All right, now snack time for me. And look at that beautiful plop consistency. It's lovely, soup on me? No, I don't get soup on me. So I have my zucchini soup that has nice little speckles of basil. I'm gonna give it some, I shave some parm right here. Just as I showed you, just shave the parm. So just sprinkle that on top. It's gonna just melt in there. You can go heavy on the parm, I always do. And then just a little bit of that basil for garnish. Ta-da! Now I get to enjoy some of this. And like I said, it's really good cold too, and given how hot it is right now, I kinda wish it were but I'm impatient. Mm. It's such a nice delicate soup, because if you really think about it, the only flavors in here are the vegetables themselves and a little salt to help really bring out their natural flavors. All that wonderful, the delicateness of the sweet scallions, spring onions, shallots, garlic, and then zucchini has a very delicate light flavor, and it's just beautiful and has such a great color. That is one squash of the summer soup. Well, thanks for tuning into The Gastro Nerd. I'm Julianne Fader. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this button. And stay tuned for more delicious nerdiness to come.